Hey guys, Caitlin here. And for this week's YouTube video, I wanted to talk about um, aspirin and Tylenol overdoses. So um, last week I was starting my night shift and I had a guy come in complaining that he had just taken uh, 50 pills of 500 milligrams of Tylenol PM. And I was just like, oh wow. Um, let's get things started. Let's get all the labs. Um, and since it was Tylenol PM, he had a lot of like anticholinergic um, symptoms. He was a little bit shaky. His eyes were um, super wide, dilated. And um, he has a history of uh, suicide, never from Tylenol. Um, but that was my first Tylenol overdose. So I thought this week, we could talk about Tylenol overdoses and I'll throw in aspirin overdoses since both of them are super similar. So let's get started. So obviously with my patient, he was an intentional overdose, but you can also have um, accidental overdoses. And this can occur uh, with kids especially. Um, aspirin is in wintergreen oil. Um, so if you are a parent and you're adding this um, to children's um, either their drinks for some joint relief or topically you can have aspirin overdoses um and also with kids Tylenol is red it looks like candy so they might try and eat it um and then with adults uh you see a lot of Tylenol overdoses uh with people who are on long-term pain medicine so a lot of like Percocet and Orco have Tylenol in it uh, but our patients usually don't know this, so they're taking like 325 of Tylenol with their uh, hydrocodone, and then they're taking Tylenol on top of that for additional pain relief, um, which is fine, but if you go over four grams a day for Tylenol, that is, uh, you know, overdose uh, toxicity level. So these patients can accidentally do it with a lot of chronic pain users. So speaking of max doses per day, um, Tylenol, you don't want to go over four grams per day for adults, and that's the same for aspirin in adults, no more than four grams per day. Um, the max dose for aspirin in children is 100 milligrams per kilogram per day, but typically you want to avoid aspirin in children because of the possibility of Ray syndrome. And the max dose for Tylenol in children is 75 milligrams per kilogram per day. In terms of clinical symptoms of overdose of Tylenol and aspirin, you're going to have a lot of the initial symptoms being the same between the two. So both of them will present with nausea, vomiting, um, an increased respiratory rate. Um, on labs, they're going to be a little bit similar as well. Um, you're going to see metabolic acidosis between both of them. You're going to see hypokalemia. Um, and then aspirin mainly affects the kidneys, so you might see a little bit of an AKI, increased creatinine. And then Tylenol is going to cause a little bit of an increased LFTs, especially on day one or two. Um, and on day one or two, uh, your patient may be complaining of right upper quadrant pain. Um, and if you have a child presenting with Ray syndrome, you're going to have nausea, vomiting, rash, and increased LFTs. So just be on the lookout for those two. I know a lot of them, a lot of the symptoms are similar, but then kidney and liver um, are the differences between the two. Um, so just keep that in mind. In terms of treatment, um, we can start with aspirin. There's no specific antidote for aspirin. It's going to be a lot of resuscitative measures, um, making sure the patient is maintaining A, B, and C. Um, you want to do a lot of IV fluids, normal saline. You're want to going to correct any metabolic derangements, um, so that usually involves replacing potassium. Um, and then you can consider activated charcoal and hemodialysis and a lot of hemodialysis indications, um, really just severe cases. So um, the clinical deterioration, um, if you have severe metabolic derangements, severe acid-base derangements, if your patient has um, needed ventilatory support, if there is any AKI or altered mental status, you're going to want to consider hemodialysis. 
And then with Tylenol overdoses, it's a lot of the same thing, a lot of resuscitative measures, uh, maintaining ABCs, replacing potassium. Um, all these patients are going to be fluid down. You want to give them normal saline. And then the addition um, of Tylenol is the antidote of NAC. So you're going to want to do NAC if your patient has a Tylenol over 150 at four hours post ingestion. Um, and the dose is uh, 150 milligrams. Um, so it's like the rule of 150, as they say with Tylenol. And then you can also do activated charcoal as needed. So that is treatment. And that's it, guys. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of aspirin Tylenol overdoses. Again, both look very similar upon initial presentation. The treatment's very similar, um, except for the antidote of Tylenol being NAC. Um, keep in mind of all of the metabolic derangements and the initial management of just being supportive measures, initial resuscitation fluids, and low potassium, um, using that activated charcoal if it's been within four hours, um, and then NAC if the four-hour dose after Tylenol has been taken is above 150, you're going to want to start NAC at 150 milligrams per kilogram. Alrighty guys, see you next week.